B O A Productions. I told you. Maybe you were right. The other day, someone sent me an article and it totally hit the nail on the head. It was the final column of the Orlando Sentinels, Charlie Reese, and I decided to put it to video where it can reach more people. I hope you enjoy this extraordinary piece of work. 545 versus 300 million people by Charlie Reese. Politicians are the only people in the world who create problems and then campaign against them. Have you ever wondered if both the Democrats and the Republicans are against deficits? Why do we have deficits? Have you ever wondered if all the politicians are against inflation and high taxes? Why do we have inflation and high taxes? You and I don't propose a federal budget, the president does. You and I don't have the constitutional authority to vote on appropriations. The House of Representatives does. You and I don't write the tax code, Congress does. You and I don't set fiscal policy, Congress does. You and I don't control monetary policy, the Federal Reserve Bank does. 100 senators, 435 congressmen, one president, and nine Supreme Court justices equates to 545 human beings out of the 300 million are directly legally, morally, and individually responsible for the domestic problems that plague this country. I excluded the members of the Federal Reserve Board because that problem was created by the Congress. In 1913, Congress delegated its constitutional duty to provide a sound currency to a federally chartered but private central bank. I excluded all the special interests and lobbyists for a sound reason. They have no legal authority. They have no ability to coerce a senator, a congressman, or a president to do one cotton picking thing. I don't care if they offer a politician one million dollars in cash. The politician has the power to accept or reject it. No matter what the lobbyist promises, it is legislators' responsibility to determine how he votes. Those 545 human beings spend much of their energy convincing you that what they did is not their fault. They cooperate in this common con, regardless of party. What separates a politician from a normal human being is an excessive amount of gall. No normal human being would have the gall of a speaker who stood up and criticized the president for creating deficits. The president can only propose a budget. He cannot force the Congress to accept it. The Constitution, which is the supreme law of the land, gives all responsibility to the House of Representatives for originating and approving appropriations and taxes. Who is the Speaker of the House? John Boehner. He is the leader of the majority party. He and fellow House members, not the President, can approve any budget they want. If the President vetoes it, they can pass it over his veto if they agree to. It seems inconceivable to me that a nation of 300 million cannot replace 545 people who stand convicted by present facts of incompetence and irresponsibility. I can't think of a single domestic problem that is not traceable directly to those 545 people. When you fully grasp the plain truth, that 545 people exercise the power of the federal government, then it must follow that what exists is what they want to exist. If the tax code is unfair, it's because they want it unfair. If the budget is in the red, it's because they want it in the red. If the army and marines are in Iraq and Afghanistan, it's because they want them in Iraq and Afghanistan. If they do not receive social security, but are on an elite retirement plan, not available to the people, it's because they want it that way. There are no insoluble government problems.
Do not let these 545 people shift the blame to bureaucrats whom they hire and whose jobs they can abolish. To lobbyists whose gifts and advice they can reject. To regulators to whom they give the power to regulate and from whom they can take this power. Above all, do not let them con you into the belief that there exists disembodied mystical forces like the economy, inflation, or politics that prevent them from doing what they take an oath to do. Those 545 people, and they alone, are responsible. They, and they alone, have the power. They, and they alone, should be held accountable by the people who are their bosses. Provided the voters have the gumption to manage their own employees. We should vote all of them out of office and clean up their mess. Charlie Reese is a former columnist of the Orlando Sentinel newspaper. What you do with this article slash video, now that you have seen it, is up to you. This might be funny if it weren't so true. Be sure to watch all the way to the end. Tax his land, tax his bed, tax the table at which he's fed. Tax his tractor, tax his mule, teach him taxes are the rule. Tax his work, tax his pay, he works for peanuts anyway. Tax his cow, tax his goat, tax his pants, tax his coat. Tax his tie, tax his shirt, tax his work, tax his dirt. Tax his tobacco, tax his drink, tax him if he tries to think. Tax his cigars, tax his beers, if he cries, tax his tears. Tax his car, tax his gas, find other ways to tax his ass. Tax all he has, then let him know, that you won't be done, till he has no dough. When he screams and hollers, then tax him some more, tax him, till he's good and sore. Then tax his coffin, tax his grave, tax the sod in which he's laid. Put these words, upon his tomb. Texas drove me to my doom. When he's gone, do not relax, it's time to apply, the inheritance tax. Accounts Receivable Tax Building Permit Tax CDL License Tax Cigarette Tax Corporate Income Tax Dog License Tax Excise Taxes Federal Income Tax Federal Unemployment Tax Fishing License Tax Food License Tax Fuel Remit Tax Gasoline Tax Gross Receipts Tax Hunting License Tax Inheritance Tax Inventory Tax IRS Interest Charges IRS Penalties Tax on Top of Tax Liquor Tax Luxury Taxes Marriage license tax, Medicare tax, Personal property tax, Property tax, Real estate tax, Service charge tax, Social security tax, Road usage tax, Recreational vehicle tax, Sales tax, School tax, State income tax, State unemployment tax, Telephone federal excise tax. Telephone Federal, Universal Service Fee Tax Telephone Federal, State, and Local, Surcharge Taxes Telephone, Minimum Usage, Surcharge Tax Telephone Recurring, and Non-Recurring Charges Tax Telephone State, and Local Tax Telephone, Usage Charge Tax Utility Taxes Vehicle License Registration Tax Vehicle Sales Tax Watercraft Registration Tax Well Permit Tax Workers' Compensation Tax